I finished another puzzle today. I did it in just a couple of hours. It was a round 500 piece Ibu puzzle. And so now we want to spin the wheel to see what's next. And I know I have said this at least three times. I've got to pull some of these off and put them on my February list. But let's spin it and see if one of these is available for January. Because quite naturally, I'm not going to get all of these done. I've been diamond painting and working on my blog and writing in my planners and reading. So I I think I've done 13, maybe 14 puzzles so far this month. Let me go ahead and spin the wheel. Okay, it's Book Nook. I think we can do this one. I do have to go in my office and look in my planner, but this is, if I'm not mistaken, a White Mountain or an Amy Stewart. It's one or the other. I'm not really sure. I won't know until I go and dig it out. But let me go ahead and save this video after I hide. I actually am not. Well, yeah, I'll go ahead and hide the slice. We're going to say Book Nook, and if I have to replace a February puzzle, I will. We'll see you after I'm done with the puzzle. So as usual, when I do one of these videos, I show a sped up version of the slideshow before I slow it down. Again, this is a white mountain jigsaw puzzle. I wasn't sure when I spun the wheel, but it was a 1,000 or is a 1,000 piece jigsaw puzzle. Now, their 1,000 piece puzzles are larger than your typical 1000 piece puzzles so this fits on a board that will do or accommodate up to 1500 pieces now i had a good experience with this puzzle but i had an interesting observation well two actually the first one is this cat this puzzle has three cats which i love i have two cats but the puzzle has four mice in it in fact, at the end of this, I am going to show some close-up shots of the different uh, features of this puzzle. So I'm thinking, I hate mice. But then it made me think that one of my favorite coloring books is called Mouse Guard. It's mice in soldier-type uh, poses, and I love that coloring book. So maybe I don't hate mice as much as I thought I did. The second observation I wanted to make when I was working on this puzzle is I was thinking that the puzzle might be dark or too dark for my liking. Well, I was definitely wrong. And the reason I say that is because when I made the trays, basically all I do with the trays is turn over all the pieces until I fill up a tray and go to the next tray and the next tray and the next tray. Well, the only two parts of this puzzle that I sorted was that stained glass window and all of the brown that's in the wood. Everything else was mumbo jumbo. So every time I looked at that dark parts of the wood, I thought, oh, this is going to be a dark puzzle. But I was pleasantly fooled and surprised to find out that no, it's really not a, a dark puzzle. Not at all. In fact, I loved every second of this puzzle. Yeah, I had to get past my little fear of mice, but don't worry, no, never fear. So as you're seeing here, you're seeing different aspects of the puzzle itself, and I loved it. And I was telling my friend Hope, I kind of think this is one of my absolute favorite jigsaw puzzle prints. Now, I'm not going to do a, the pickup test, but you know, if you have any experience with this brand, that White Mountain definitely passes the pickup test. So here you have it, Book Nook, favorite, favorite puzzle. Well, I won't say favorite, but one of my favorite puzzles of January. Well, let's put it at number two, okay? I already told you what my favorite puzzle of this month was, and it was the Amy Stewart Cosmic Marbles. But when you factor in all the books and the three cats and actually the cute little mice, I will say that I loved it. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you with my next video.